10 ways to fix personal hotspot not working on iPhone. Re-enable personal hotspot. Open the settings app. Tap on personal hotspot. Next to allow others to join, toggle the slider to disable the feature. Wait for a minute and toggle the switch to enable personal hotspot again. Re-enable mobile data. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Tap on mobile data. Next to mobile data, toggle the slider to disable the option. After a minute, toggle the switch to turn on mobile data again. Restart iPhone. If the above methods didn't help, restart your iPhone. A simple restart can help you solve the problem with personal hotspot. It will remove any minor bug and glitch that could have occurred during the session. Update your iPhone. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Go to general settings. Tap on software update. Wait while your device searches for updates. If found any, tap on download and install. Enable the maximize compatibility feature. This method is for iPhone 12 owners only. Open the settings app on your iPhone 12. Tap on personal hotspot. You should see the maximize compatibility option. Toggle the switch to enable the feature. Update carrier settings. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Go to general settings. At the top, tap on about. If your carrier has issued an update, a message asking you to update them will appear. Tap on update to update your carrier settings. Make sure you can use personal hotspot. If you recently changed your phone plan and switched to another carrier, make sure you have the personal hotspot feature on your plan. Most plans have personal hotspot added, but some don't. Check your plan information and what's included, or call your service provider and check with them. Reset network settings. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Go to general settings. Scroll to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone, then tap on reset and select reset network settings. Enter the iPhone passcode and confirm the action. Contact your carrier. If nothing helps, contact your service provider and check if there are any issues on their part. Sometimes the problem can be due to an error in the carrier system and not with your device. Update your device firmware. If everything is good on the carrier side, you don't have any overdue bills and none of the above methods help. The last thing you can try is to update your iPhone firmware. Visit our guide linked below for more information. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.